Welcome to Five News. I'm Emma Crosby. It's a practice the Prime Minister has likened to slavery. And now forced marriages will be made illegal in England and Wales for the very first time. Last year, nearly 1,500 cases were reported, a number campaigners fear in reality could be five times higher. David Cameron says the victims' lives are being ruined by being taken out of the country at a young age and made to marry someone against their will. But critics fear that criminalising their parents could put people off from coming forward. Well, our political editor Andy Bell is live in Westminster tonight. So when will this become law, Andy? Ahila Gupta from the Southall Black Sisters, an organization set up to help black and Asian women. Rahila, it's great to have you on the program. Mm. And I know you're dealing with vulnerable women who face the situation every day. Do you welcome this law to criminalize forced marriages? No, we don't actually welcome thing to, to hear because most people will assume, given that you work with these girls on yeah. a daily basis, you would support any law to, to help their case. I and mean, we heard from one lady who is a survivor of forced marriages. She said in Andy Bell's report there, there I'm afraid, but thank you very much for your thoughts thank on you. such an emotive issue. Rahila Gupta joining us there. Now, claims of racism have cast a shadow over the start of Euro 2012. Holland's players were subjected to racist chants while they trained in Poland. They say if it happens when the tournament begins, they will walk off the pitch. European football's governing body, UEFA, claims it was an isolated incident. England have been training in the same Polish city as they prepare for their first match on Monday. Julian Drucker has the latest. Now, gale force winds are battering parts of Britain as the heavy rain continues to fall. The Met Office has now issued severe weather warnings right across the country. Travel plans are being disrupted as conditions at sea are dangerous and big sporting events have had to be called off too. So could the summer be on hold? Here's later. It's a nice way at the end of May. It hasn't stopped raining, has it? It's so unusual. It feels like that. No one can argue that it's, that it's miserable. It's, it's <laughs> such a miserable, horrible weather. But is it very unusual to get this much rain this it, it isn't. John, we're going to hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sunny, so that we get our sunshine from you. Thanks so much for coming on. We'll see you a little later, of course, because you've got your all. Uh, Sharon played by brilliant actress Letitia, Letitia Dean. Mm -hmm. um, it must be a great job being on these centres. She must be looking at this thinking, I want to get back on there because she's got her old friends still there. It's a, it's a great yeah. act, isn't it? A great job uh, to Ricky Grove. Thank you. Well, that is pretty much it from us for today. Sean has a full weather forecast for you coming up next, particularly for the weekend ahead. And Sangeeta has news updates as well throughout the evening. I'm back at the same time on Monday. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Let's hope it's not a washout. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.